What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Omni-Man in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Omni-Man, some best strategies you need to be using, and of course some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's go ahead and get into this guy. Also go ahead and pause your screen right here my dudes because this is going to be the universal language that we're going to be using so everyone who's watching can understand what we're saying. Let's start off with the bread and butter normals, strings, and specials you're going to be using for Omni-Man. The ones that are most optimal and you're probably going to be using the most. Starting with overheads, your first great option is going to be 2-2 two, two, and that's cancelable of course into any specials like back 4-2, back 4-1. Or of course your Viltrumite stance, which of course we'll go over later. Your forward two is also an overhead and it switches you sides if you're close enough, which is cool. Kind of a good way to get out of a corner and against an overhead. It's not quite full screen, but it's pretty dang close. As you saw, if you're further away, you're actually not gonna switch sides. You have this awesome special move back forward to four, which is a full screen fly move. On the ground, it is a mib in the air. It's an overhead pop-up starter. So that's a good overhead option as well. Now, when it comes to lows, you don't have that many options with Omni-Man. So this is where you might, you know, use a cameo that has a good low, like Frost or Striker. But you have a forward three. And that's really cool because you saw it's a pop-up and cancelable into special moves. Like your back forward two, or of course your Viltrumite stance. You're not using your forward three as more like an ender, you're using it as a starter and canceling into special moves. And it's a low, which is great. If you really want to mix it up, you can jump in with an overhead, then go straight into your forward three like so, creating a really good mix up. Now for your bread and butter combo strings, you're gonna be using the most often. And first of all is your back one one. As you see, it's a really good pop-up and it's a mid starting, which is great. It's a bit slower on startup than I would personally want, but it's still great. You can air combo from there. Or you can just continue the combo on the ground. Either way, back one one is a great bread and butter for Omni-Man. Then of course we have our two two, which is that overhead and cancelable into any specials. You're probably gonna be using those the most to start combos along with your forward three normal. But while you have your opponent in the air, you have forward four one or just your forward four. That's a good mid and it's a good combo extender. For an example, you can do back one one as they're falling, do forward four, pop them up a little bit more and then one two special like this. Now for your best normals, again, your forward three is the best low option. Your standing three is pretty good, and that can also cancel into Viltrumite stance. Your forward four is that great normal combo extender. Forward two is that overhead option. And then funny enough, your back four is your sweep option, low overhead. But keep in mind, if your opponent blocks that first hit, you're not going to get the overhead. It's just a funny looking sweep because it's like super fast, but it's like one input. It just looks really cool. Your best wake up options, in my opinion, are first going to be your back forward to enhance because that one does gain armor on enhancing. Other than that, you do have back forward one, the clap move if you enhance your clap that does destroy your opponent's projectile so if you're far away getting up from a hard knockdown you might wake up with that if they're trying to zone you out on wake up and here's how that might look now when it comes to your air combos omni-man has two main routes you see here we have one two and then grab or two one two one i'll be honest with you most of the time you're actually just gonna be using two one two not only do you have air combos but you have an air dash as well and that's just your l2 button or your stand switcher now notice off this dash we can't actually attack our opponent from that you're mainly using that in air combos and here's how that looks so you see there we dash after our 2-1-2 in the air got on the other side of our opponent and was able to continue the air combo in fact you can do that air dash twice in the same air combo but note that doing it a second time in the air does cost one meter and here's how that looks So it might be a great way to either create the space you want, closing on your opponent, but I found it best to just use it in air combos. Go ahead and pause your screen right here because these are gonna be the most optimal, most used strings and normals you're gonna be using when playing Omni-Man. You're gonna see them quite often in combos and gameplay and strategies. They're quick, they're a pop-up, they're an overhead, stuff like that. Omni-Man only has four special moves. That's right, only four to worry about, which is actually pretty nice, giving you not so much to think about. We have our back forward two, our back forward one, the clap, Back forward four. And then of course our Viltrumite stance down back three. Now while we're in this stance, we have two options. Without meter burning it, doing the stance by itself will dodge an enemy projectile. Boring. But if you meter burn the Viltrumite stance, you'll dodge mids and highs from your opponent's combos. So you can dodge projectiles, dodge combos, and then while you're in the stance, you have four different special moves. One, two, three, and four. And I mean that literally with your input. Like while we're in the Vitrum stance, down back three, we can press one, and this is our one special move. 
That's an air pop up allowing for air combos. While in the stance, you have two. That's a great combo ender, and it does the most damage out of the four. In the stance, we have three, and that's a good overhead, but you'll see our opponent bounces kind of far away, so I found Sonya to be a great fix to that, allowing us to combo off the Viltrumite stance three. And that is full screen as well. You can go Viltrumite stance and then three. That's a full screen overhead. But you want to think about it kind of like Goro's or Shiva's air stomp. If you miss or they dash, for an example, you're going to get punished super hard. And then four in the stance is actually this pop up that you can't use in combos. Unfortunately, it's kind of slow. But if you do land, you can get a free combo off. And a noteworthy thing is if you enhance your Viltrumite stance, that makes your newly added special moves come out faster, allowing you to then use them in combos where normally you couldn't. So we can use our Viltrumite stance then four in a combo after our one, two, like this. So depending on what situation you're gonna be running into, you have to utilize all four of those additional special moves correlating to what situation you're in. Also something really cool about Omniman is you can do every single special move in the air. Back forward two, back forward four, back forward one, and the Viltrumite stance as well. And that includes all the Viltrumite stance moves. If you want to cancel out of the Viltrumite stance, because it is there for quite a while, it feels like, just press down and R1 together, and that gets you out of it. So let's say you dodge a projectile, just get out of it real quick, and then rush in. Just keep in mind, you can cancel. Also, a side note, your Viltrumite stance, one special move is the fastest out of the four, so you'll probably be using that most often. In fact, it's so fast, you can use that after your forward three, for an example. You can go forward three, and then your Viltrumite stance, then press one, grab your opponent before they fall, throw them in the air for an air combo, just like this. You can also do that for your 2-2 two -two combo for an overhead starter. Now, when it comes to strategies with Omniman, I'll tell you right now, he's pretty straightforward aside from his Viltrumite stance. He really likes to play with his food. He's gonna dodge a projectile. He's gonna dodge your moves and then mix you up with the awesome lows, overheads, full screen pop-ups. Omniman is a really in-your-face kind of character. Plus, he's a very air combo focused character. The air combos is kind of where a lot of your damage is gonna be coming from. So I recommend learning how to air combo ASAP with him. Like, just look at what we can do in the air. Another strategy you might use is you're gonna be air dashing to get in their face, back forward four to get in their face, back forward two to get in their face. You get the point. You're gonna be in your opponent's face quite a bit and do everything that you can to get in their face. You don't wanna let up the pressure. Omniman is all about pressure, pressure, pressure. Now that you have a good basic foundation of Omniman, let's go ahead and get into some fun and easy combos that you can learn today. Let me know what you think of Omniman down below in the comments. Do you like him? Do you hate him? I think he's an absolute blast. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. Take it one step at a time.